What can I help you with? You know, because we're back in the world of Yakuza, that just seems like the best time to uh, to be a great taxi driver. <laughs> Hi, I'm sorry for the wait. Ah, there you are. The girl I'm going to on date should be here soon. Would you mind waiting a little longer? No problem. You're on a date today? <clears throat> That's right. It's the first date I've gone on, so I'm really nervous. I just saw the girl I'm going with is incredibly cute. She has a great personality to match. I hope I can show her a good... There's a shiny behind you. I don't have anything to talk about. Say, what's a good thing to talk about when you want to impress a girl on the first date? I think it's best to be yourself and talk about what interests you. Hmm. My interests, right. huh? Right. I'm really into anime with cute girls. I'm literally seen every series, even when no one else knows about. Phew, I could talk about them all day. Uh, what's the matter? I'd suggest not diving that deep on the first date. Oh, you think so? Some people might not understand. Really? Then what am I supposed to talk right. about? How about something more relatable? Moms are getting sweaty. What am I going to do? Ah, oh, Jesus. Sorry to keep you waiting. I think I'm on the wrong side with my ball face, but we'll figure that out. It sounds like I'm running the mood, ruin the mood. Think you could help me out? Hey. I'll do my best. Hey, don't fuck it up. I was so surprised when you asked me out on a date, Yamada-kun. You were. Do you date lots of girls? Um, uh, every day in my dreams. You see that many different girls? No, 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 don't worry. It's the first time I've gone with someone in in meat space. Huh? What's meat space? Help me out, driver. I guess he means in real life, but saying that might make him sound a little too much of a nerd. Well, meat space is... A way of complimenting people. It's a way of complimenting people. Yeah, so your beauty is like meat in space, a rare and wonderful thing. Oh, nobody's ever said that to me. How kind of you. I only say it because it's true. I thought you were docile, a shy kind of guy, but you're actually pretty passionate and romantic. I like that. Oh, God. Dude, she bought it. You have any hobbies? Yes, I'm a big fan of music. I've been listening to cafe-style tunes lately. Things like bossa nova and jazz. Ah, that's awesome. You like music? Of course, I listen to music every night. Then I guess we got some in common. We should get along great. What type of music do you like? I only listen to any songs. Oh, uh, oops. Any so You mean the anime theme songs? Oh, why? Oh, no, why would I listen to that? It's not... The end of songs I was talking about. What were you talking about? Ah, what was it again? Well, it is. Short for animal. I don't even know what the middle one means. The hell's a chanson? The name of a singer. I don't feel like that one's going to go right. It's what this is on the radio. He likes animal songs. Yeah, that's it. Short for animal songs. Oh, I see. Like how they shorten rock and roll to just rock. That's right. Just like that. What kind of music are these animal songs? There are actually animals there, like furry little critters. Yeah, CDs of actual animal noise, like birds and cats, and like ambient music. That's cool. You got good taste. Got away with that somehow. What kind of guys that usually go for. Let me think. And some guys with good fashion sense, right? Nah, appearance doesn't really matter to me. All about their interests, like active guys who know the latest trends. Nah, that stuff isn't important to me. I bet you like guys who are outgoing, have lots of friends that can make you laugh. More to personality than that. One thing I like guys to are, who are comfortable being themselves. Doesn't matter whether they're unattractive, have strange interests, or poor social skills. As long as they're happy with who they are and don't try to be fake. I like genuine people. What kind of guy I like? What should I do, driver? Hmm. 
I don't know. This could be a setup. Dude, I don't even know how to handle women in real life. What are you asking me for? Just trying to enjoy the song. Um... I don't know. Apologize. I try hinting to start with. I think it's important to apologize to Celia for trying to deceive her. What's up? I've been lying to you. What? Yes, it's about the meaning of meat space, my taste of music. Why would you lie, though? The truth is, I'm obsessed with anime. Sorry that I deceived you. You must hate me now, right? No, huh? I think it's great that you're passionate about something. Doesn't matter what it is. There are plenty of people out there who don't care about anything. Hey, maybe you can show me a bit of why you think anime is great. Huh? You want me to teach you about anime? Sure. You'll have to take it slow, though. Wait, does that mean you're willing to see me again? Yeah, of course. Let's take our time getting to know each other. What's the matter? <laughs> Just yelled something. You're so funny. Glad my advice worked out. I gave you wrong and right advice. Happy to help. Here we are. Thanks for helping me. I think things might work out with her. Bye. I'll Thank see you, you later, honey. Here's the fare and a tip on top. Just don't give me your tip. God, thank you. I'll be sure to ask for you again. Bye. Jesus Christ. Nerd. <laughs> I'm on this side for some reason. Why did my ball get moved over here? Why am I on here? Anything? I don't think there was anything important on the right side. It's... Because the map's on the left. I think. I don't know. No. I'm relearning things. Do just like TV, and then I'll do a race, and then we'll actually move on and do some of the other sub-stories and game. But we'll be, uh, you know, working our way slowly through this taxi stuff. Hey, Hatsu Boulevard, please. Got it. Let's go. Tell me about TV. Tell me. So I'd rather just drive myself, but it's whatever. See that TV documentary on taxi drivers last night? And catch it. No, I must have missed it. Oh, where am I thinking? You're probably way too busy with work to watch TV. Could you tell me what it was about? I'll give you the gist. The guy used to be a company president, went bankrupt, and got a job as a taxi driver. He's only pulling in a little over 100,000 yen a month now. It's kind of sad to watch, actually. I'd say the most taxi drivers are people who used to do other jobs. Is that true? In a lot of cases, yes. Does that apply to you? Yes. Really? What job did you do before this? Were you a company president, too? I'm not a president, but I was a chairman. Chairman? That's a good one, buddy. There's no way on earth a chairman could wind up as a taxi driver. Maybe you're a chairman of the neighborhood watch. Look at it as a joke, but at least he's happy. What is it you really did? Something like the guy... Something like the guy in that documentary. I mean, you really were a president. How big was the company? It's big. I prefer not to dwell on the past. I bet you were a big shot. I can tell by the way you talk. Hm. I won't ask you why you became a driver, but hang in there. You'll get your time in the sun again. Just keep working hard. I'm rooting for you. Thank you. I'm going to cry. Here we are. Thanks. Here's your fare. I'll even give you a tip. Hey. Keep your chin up, Mr. President. No question on why the taxi is just covered in flames. 
We just want to get you there fast. I'm heading out. Susan, before you go, hmm? just want to pick your brain. Know anyone looking to do some taxi driving work? You short on drivers or something? Yeah. <clears throat> we have cabs just sitting around. You're not getting any younger, and it's about time we get fresh blood. Then you wouldn't have to be the new guy anymore. I really don't mind. Either way, we need more hands on deck. Let me know if you think of anyone. I practically know no one around here, though I guess I should get to work. I don't know anybody. Oh, there you are. Can I get a ride? Of course. Please, come in. Come. I know this is out of the blue, but I wonder if you might know my son. Your son? Yes. It's been a year since he ran away, and he hasn't contacted me at all. Sorry to hear that. It's all because I blew up at him for fooling around with his life and refusing to get a job. He was gone the next day, and I've been looking for him ever since. Practically, oh Jesus, what the fuck? Practically searched every corner of the country by now. Why does it cause me so much grief? You got any leads where he might be? Rumor is that he's working in Hak Hakata or whatever you say. Oh, so he's working at least. That's a relief to hear, but I just I can't just look past everything he's put me through. I just want to find him and give him a good whack on the head. Knock some sense into the boy. <laughs> that should do it. You know what kind of job your son's doing? I think he's working at some place called Street Racer. No idea what he does, though, there. It wasn't in a phone book. But it was Street Racer. Yes, do you know of it? That rest area was where I raced the Devil Killers. It's always full of Street Racers. Possibly. Then take me to this Street Racer. Oh, I'll be fine. See, my son work hard to earn an honest living. It's sure to calm me down. I might even break down and cry. Sure you will, but not for that reason. Now then, to Street Racer, on the double. Oh, Jesus, gonna fucking slam into a car. I wanna join the Devil Killers. I always looked up to you guys. Come on, give me a shot. Forget it. You can't be just be some geek off the street and expect to be a Devil Killer. I haven't lost a race since I got here. So what? You can beat a bunch of losers. That's supposed to impress me? Yes. Koji. Yeah? <laughs> Mom, what are you doing here? I've been looking for you. This nice man brought me here to see you. Hello. What the? You're that taxi driver who took us on the other day. I'm not here for you. I want to have a word with that kid. Mm? What on earth are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm a street racer now. Mm? That's what you meant by street racer. What, what about your job? <sighs> Who needs a job when I could rule the road? That is absolute rubbish. You're coming back home with me. Right now, young man. No way. I'm joining the devil killers. What do you want to go killing devils for? It's a street racing team, mom. Street racing team? You want to race cars? This isn't like one of those motorcycle gangs, is it? Well, not exactly, but it's something like that. Oh, for my dead body? I won't have you going around causing trouble for people. You find yourself a job, mister. I did look for a job, and I found nothing. Turns out the only thing I'm good at is driving. What company would hire somebody like that? I can think of one. Come on, driving's in my blood. Let me join your squad. Man, you are an annoying little shit. You know what? Why don't you race that taxi driver there? Why? You beat him in a race, I'll let you join our crew. Simple as that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> too easy. I don't think so, Buster. I told you I won't let you cause trouble for anyone. Let's just go home and look for a real job. Mom, this is none of your business. Let's get the show on the road, Texan man. I don't think so. That would only encourage you. Come on, man. All I have to do is drive. It'll be over in ten seconds. Said yourself driving's all you're good at, right? Yeah, so what? I was just thinking, if your driving's your thing, you'd come work for our company. You'd really give him a job? Of course. 
I'm actually looking for new drivers right now if your son is interested. Oh, absolutely. Let him sign up right away. Your car. I don't want to drive some dumb taxi. Why not? You like to drive, don't you? But driving around a taxi is nothing like racing a car. Who wants to become some dweeb that's driving in the slow lane, following the rules like a tool? I want to be badass speed demon who zooms around the corners like a boomerang, burning rubber the whole way. Won't settle for anything less. How could you say such a thing? <sighs> say, what would you do if you knew a taxi driver who could pull stunts like that as well? I'd say no taxi driver in the world could do what the killers do. Now hurry up and race me. Watch me win this. Yeah, yeah. Better watch out for pedestrians and look both ways. It's a highway, Bob. Don't. This doesn't stop you from looking both ways. Holy shit, he's driving a lime. No one's even being said. Well, here we go. He should be impressed by me. I have a taxi cab with flames. Even DK would want this taxi cab. Sound like he hit a car. Oh, there he is. I don't need to use it here. Not right now. I don't know what he's saying. Nice to boot. Nice boost, loser. Nice to boot. Couldn't even talk. I do like how I don't even move the steering wheel in the car. I am frozen. My turn. Secret move. Explosive acceleration. I win. <laughs> Shut up. So, what do you think of us taxi drivers now? Guess I was wrong. You're something else, man. Just as I thought, I'm out of here. If you finally got that racing thing out of your system, let's go. I'll make you a big batch of your favorite stew. I have to go now, but don't go running out on your mother again. Wait. Please. Hmm? About the taxi job, is the offer still up for grabs? Sure. Then you'll hire me? I'm serious here, I'm finally starting to understand why being a taxi driver might be cool. Do you let me work with you? How could you expect after that way you treated him? You think you can just waltz up your way into the world without even an apology? Okay, I'm sorry for being such a pain. I mean it. There's nothing I want more than to be a driver for your company. I promise to work real hard. It's not even my company. I just work for it. I don't see why not. Really? Sure. Did make him an offer, after all, and he looks eager to give this a shot. You sure it's not too much trouble, even after what he did? Well, he's got... He won't get far acting like that true. In the world where I come from. You don't just cut a guy loose once he's seen the error of his ways. Better let him make amends. It's very generous. I'll look after your son. I'll never see him after this, but I'll look after him. Let's get going. You can call me Suzuki. From here on out, you're a taxi driver. 
I'm just giving out jobs. Hey, son. Here come the waterworks. I just, you know, you're a taxi driver now. Yeah. Hi there. Who's the youngster? I'm Kayo Kwa or whatever, and I'd like to be your new driver. Oh, you're willing to work for us. You know we're a taxi company, right? Yep. Truth is, I was dead set on being a devil killer, but now I see that being a taxi driver is just as badass. I'll do whatever it takes to be one. Devil killers, huh? Used to be a street racer, but let's just say you hit a few speed bumps. No better than end up here than with those punks. Trust me, that ain't no that ain't the road you want to follow. You tell him, chief. So how about you show him the ropes, Miramatsu? I was kind of hoping to train under Suzuki-san. Huh? This guy right here, he knows how to be a real man. What exactly is that supposed to mean? I'm saying I want to learn everything Suzuki-san knows. He's like a role model type of dude. <sighs> oh, if anything happened, Baba, then Suzuki-san, be sure to look after him. Hey. I will. Congratulations on moving up the ranks. Thanks. What do I work on first? Your manners. When you answer, you say, yes, sir. Got that? Heck yeah, I do. Are you even listening? Oh, for sure. You understand me, though? Yep, loud and clear. Gotta work on those manners, right? This is gonna take a while. This is like Shadow trying to tell me not to eat a med kit. There's a little max speed, but my turbo builds faster. You know what? Why not? Hyper turbo. Oh, man. Blue. Looking good. Come back and do more. I mean, eventually I won't be able to because at some point I'm not going to be kidding you for a while, but we'll be doing more because I, mean, I there's still side missions I got to go do out here. I got to punch somebody at some point. Can't drive forever. God, they're everywhere. Sub stories everywhere. Stop eating med kits here. Hey, I can't help myself. They help me. Hey, you, Suzuki san? Hey, Wada san, how's everything? Not good. I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs. Apparently, nobody wants a ride today. Whoa. Was that a hit and run? I didn't see it clearly, but. Wait. Yuda, bring back my Yuda. What's wrong? Was anyone hurt? My boy, they carried off my little boy. He's in the car that just drove away. Yeah. You mean he was kidnapped? Alright, I'll go after him. I'm taking your taxi. You better come too, ma'am. Man, I just say I'm done with taxi missions, and here I am, doing another mission with a taxi. This isn't even my car. Unlike regular, you win this race by overtaking the other car within it. You lose if the other gets too far ahead. Depends on whose setup I'm using. I did it. He tried to cut me off and then hit a truck. Better not get in our way, asshole. Dude, look, it's GTA 4. It's the fucking Packy and his brothers. You know, my God. Ma'am, help. Let the kid go. You and I need to have a little talk. You think we're just going to sit down and chat? Nice fucking try. Now, if you don't scram this instant, we're putting you in the ground. Wait, is that you, Ido Dasan? What? Do you know this guy? I can't see his face, but I recognize his voice. I think he's a former employee of ours. My husband fired him the other day for embezzling company funds. 
but I gave the money back, and now I'm in debt up to my eyeballs. This was my only play. There we go. I promise I won't tell the police. This isn't how I thought I'd go down. I went about it all wrong. I should have kidnapped the wife along with the kid. Look at all this extra bullshit I have to go through. You're coming along for the ride too, mystery man. I'm taking all your asses hostages. Now get over here. Hello. <laughs> what? Don't give me that look. You want me to turn you into worm food? <laughs> you have no idea how much pain you're causing these people. Maybe I need to give you a taste firsthand. Yeah? How about I make you taste your own blood firsthand? Your corpse won't even look human by the time we're done with you. Can't take you seriously with that on your face. Now his gun isn't blue or anything anymore. It got brighter. Get up. Get up. Look who's got the gun now, s bitch. See that? Uh, no heat action with a pistol. I like those when they have them. Yeah. Um, I was so scared. Thank you so much. You aren't hurt, are you? No, no, and I got a gun out of it now. What should we do with these guys? I already called the police. They'll be here any moment. Oh, come on. Give us a break. You got your kid back, didn't you? Not getting off the hook that easy. Do you seriously think giving back the money and the kid uh, makes up for what you did? Well, you need to wake up and realize you can't do whatever you want. Using your problems as an excuse? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about it behind bars. Why, you, who the hell are you, anyway? You don't, sure don't act like a taxi driver. I really appreciate what you've done. If it wasn't for you, who knows what would happen? I can't thank you enough. Hey, don't worry about it. I just happened to be in the rice, pl rice place, apparently. Apparently, I was at the rice place. <sighs> I was at the right place at the right time. I was also at a rice place. Here, this is the least I can give you. Is it rice? No, it's 20,000 yen. I could buy rice with that. I'll never forget the way you helped us. I hope you know how wonderful you are. For real, you kicked some royal ass back there, sir. Hey, watch your language. I don't think any of those guys were royalty. Thanks for letting me borrow your taxi today. I'm in there. The fine thing you did. I'm sure anyone would have done it had they been in my nice shoes. See you around. You would have been a hostage. There goes a hell of a guy. I'd suck his dick. <laughs> what was that, Watasan? Nothing. real rough around here. Watch yourself. Thank you, kind man. Still don't know what I'm making, because I don't see it. Uh... Looks like the money went through. That should be good for now. I don't know if that gets me anything. I read Digimono Station as Digimon Station. Hmm.
Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Only it was the food of bank. You know, is there? No. It's all the way down there. God, they're so spaced out the save areas. I'm like, I wanted to go and maybe put on that thing that makes people want to fight me. It says, put it on with this, and it'll see the special results. And I was like, now that I can fight a little bit, I didn't mind more fights. Thank <laughs> Also, I need to clear my inventory so I can get the rest of the goodies that are at the M store. Hell. Yes. This exquisitely savory dish consists of a choice selection of organ meat grilled over a charcoal fire. Pretty tasty. Hmm, I want some more. No, it's rotten. No, I'm stuffed. All right, let's we go. I don't want to run into the fucking main story. I'm going to run back here real quick. Can I help you? Sorry, I'm trying to get all the boxes out of the M store. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so we'll we'll have the thing cuz I don't know what combining them will do, but I will use this so I get more attacks. While wearing the training gear, my gear's gonna suck for a little while, but I have good stuff now from the items stacked up for later, so that'll be good. So, that'll work for now. Try to get a little extra experience, even if it's just a pinch more. Why not? Then eventually I have some decent gear to put on afterwards. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Are you a host? Hosts. I didn't even mean to do it. Keep accidentally doing that move. Oh, some people escaped. Ran away like a bitch. Rude. 
There you go. Thanks for the toughness, Z. I feel like the encounter rate's definitely improving. Just wish you guys didn't block so much. I didn't even know who I was going to heat action. Big mistake. He'll be fine. Get up. Okay. <laughs> Get. Uh, let's punch right in the jaw. Thank you. More stuff. Well, hey, what's new, Suzuki-san? Hmm. Oh. Hey, Kaiwa Miramatsu-san, what are you up to? Out for dinner? Nope, we're going to a mixer. I thought they were closed, and they, like, they're done. You know, one of those group date sort of things. See, I met this girl online. She agreed to meet with me with some of her friends. Who knows? Today could be the day I finally get myself a girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh. I'll go into a mix of that I can understand, but I never imagined you wanted to tag along. Oh, it's not like I wanted to go. This horn dog here practically begged me to join him. Come on, Miramatsu san. When we were out drinking the other day, you were crying in your beer saying you didn't want to die a virgin. Hey, you promised never to mention that. <clears throat> All I'm trying to get at is if today's mixer goes well, we can kiss our lonely days goodbye. Yeah. I think the two of us could actually pull this off. To be honest, I'm not all that sure I can keep a woman entertained the whole evening. Hell, I can't either. Yeah, come to think of it, I'm not much of a smooth talker. I guess I'm trying too hard. What do we do? Besides, aren't there like three of them? We're one man short. Won't they be pissed? I guess that could be a problem. It's not like we got anyone else we could invite. Well, good luck. I better get going. Oh, wait. Hold on, Suzuki-san. What? Could you join us at the mixer? Mm. I bet you're pretty suave with the ladies. At this rate, we're just destined to mess things up, but if you come along, you could pass your worldly wisdom onto us. Yeah, I hate asking for help, but fighting a losing battle is even worse. Will you come with us? All right, I'll help out. Hey. Assuming that I can. Makes it an even count. And we have an absolute lady killer on our side. Now, quick, hook us up with advice. Then I told him about the pina coladas. I don't think that's going to help. Girl should show up soon. This girl you know who's arranging things. What's she like? Is she cute? I met her online, so I haven't seen her face yet. Did people tell her that she looks like a famous idol, though? Plus, her writing style's cute. She looks... She likes to bake. Her name is I... Ishimori-chan. Can't wait to meet her. Sorry for the wait. All right, here they come. Nice to meet you all. No, boy. I'm Ishimori. Uh, hi. No, oh, please. Put the tongues away, boys. Haven't you ever seen a lady before? Oh, boy. Leafly gaunt lady. Uh, 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 uh. Well, there's one more coming, but she's running a little late. I see. And she doesn't look like an idol. Unless you mean those fat fertility ones ancient people used to worship. Well, what do you want me to say? She looked cute enough on her blog profile. Doesn't mean jack squat. You ought to know those are never actually how they looked. Why can't you do anything right? Yo, what are you guys whispering over there? Oh, nothing. Our bad. Oh, no, that's okay. I get it. You do? Hmm, you nasty boys are already working out which one of us you want to take home with you, right? Oh, men in their one-track minds. <laughs> Slow down there, gentlemen. Can't get past first base if you don't know get started first gear. Oh, I made it funny. 
This is going to be an awkward night. Okay, shall we start off with introductions? Us girls will go first. I'm Ishimori. Let's see, for different ho for hobbies. Oh, yeah, I like trying out the menu at different restaurants. Yeah, I bet she orders the entire menu at once. Hey, Yukawa, didn't you say that her hobby was baking? Look at me. Tell it to her. She's right there. I was even listening. Yeah, nice to meet you. You're up next, Nakayama-san. Okie dokie. So, I'm Yuki Nakayama. I'm always laughing about something. In fact, I'd laugh at the drop of chopsticks. <laughs> Says she'll laugh at the drop of a chopstick. Let's test that out. Oh, your chopsticks. Oh, my. <laughs> There they go. <laughs> oh, that was refreshing. Did she really laugh like that? At least I got the girl side laughing. Hopefully that broke the ice a bit. Sorry I'm late. Holy shit. Kondo side, what kept you? I just lost track of time. Anyway, I'm Kondo. Nice to meet you. Jeez, she's beautiful. Oh, yeah, nice to meet you, too. It's a fine-looking woman. Romatsu-san and Yoko can't seem to keep their eyes off of her. So, uh, what shall we do next? Hey, why don't you take the lead, Suzuki-san? Me? Well, okay. Well, none of us guys introduced ourselves. Let's start there. Oh, right, I completely forgot. That was smooth. Hmm, I like a man who can keep a level head. Yum, yum. Seems to have worked all right, but I also feel very uncomfortable. All right, let's get the introductions. You go first, Miramatsu-san. Okay, uh, I'm Tomaki Miramatsu. I'm a taxi driver, and looks like he's floundering over here. You have any hobbies? Hobbies? I, I like cars. Cars are great. The more you pour your heart in, the more they give back. I think I was five when I first started getting serious about it. My dad loved to race, and he'd take me along the passenger seat, knowing a twinkle in his eye. I keep going on to that story. Shouldn't have brought that subject too late now. Oh, what's next, Suzuki-san? Mm. <laughs> Check, please. What the King's game is. Time for some real man talk. Then we play a game. Who wants to do the king's game? Oh, I don't really know. Should I? That's what everybody does at these mixers. Let's just go for it. Me first. You can't just volunteer yourself. That went over well. I'm actually impressed I thought that up. Everyone's drawn a straw. Whoever gets the red one is the king. They get to call the shots. The rest of the straws have numbers on them. You use them when you want to make a dare. Like, for example, you can dare number three to kiss number five. <laughs> you boys in your kissing games, you can't wait to plant a nice big wet, wet one on me, can you? Anyway. Let's give it a go. Who will be our king? That's me. Shit. So you're, you make the first dare. I wanted to be. Okay, what's your dare? What? Just so you know, I'm number three. And Miromatsu-san is number four. That's the cute girl over there. <laughs> Kondo-san is number two. <laughs> cute girl over there is number two, so, you know. Oh. Let me do, well, how did you make her and I have our eyes on her? Maybe you can help us out. I'm trusting you. You're talking about which one, who you want to sex up tonight, aren't you? In your dirty minds, if only you saw it with your big head and not your small one, you might win me over. <laughs> you tell him, girl. I'm sure life must be a breeze for you ladies. How do I keep everyone happy? King must make up his mind here. I dare number two to massage my shoulders. <sighs> oh, fuck. Um, who was it? Oh, God, I already forgot who was who. 
I wish I could like look back at it, but I have to like look back at my own shit just to see. I don't remember who is who right now. Yep, you're a taxi driver, cool. And the cute one is that one. You're number three. Romatsu san is number four. The cute girl is two. So three and four should kiss. You're a bastard, Suzuki-san, huh? Are you number three? Who's number four, then? It's me. <laughs> oh, this ought to be good. Kiss, kiss. Smooch, smooch, smooch. I never forgive you. Okay, here I come. <laughs> what a riot. <laughs> I suit each other, you know that. <laughs> well, I got everyone good spirits. I hope the others agree it was worth the trade-off. I'd call it a success. I think I should get going. Let's wrap things up. I'm stuffed like a turkey. So, Miramatsu san, which girl do you like? Kondo. She looked like a hard working, pure hearted type. Wish I could get a, me a girl like her. I'm just here. It was a big success. This is my way of saying thanks. A calming towel. I don't want to know what you did with this towel. Mm -hmm. So how'd you like our get together today? It was super fun. Although you're a bit too young for me to take you seriously. Still, we should do this again sometime. <laughs> yeah, I had a blast. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I like to think she laughs like an Animal Crossing character with a deep voice. I had a really great time. Thank you for having yeah. us. Thank you. Time for our appointment at the beauty salon. We're outie. Bye. I better go too. So long. Oh, Kondo-san? If I just let her leave, nothing will change. I have to gather up my courage and tell her how I feel. Hey, uh, Kondo-san? Listen, we, um, if, if you don't mind, maybe we could, like, grab some tea or... Oh, hold on. Oh, hello. Is it you, Raika? Why didn't you call me yesterday? I missed you. What am I doing now? I got dragged to a co-worker's mixer because they, she needed a third girl. Don't worry, nothing happened. I wouldn't do that. You're the only one for me. I'm free. I'll see you at your place. I'll buy beer on the way. What were you guys saying? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, they were just saying bye. Yeah, no problem. They got cooked. They're just full of surprises, aren't they? I think I've had enough of the dating game for now. Same here. Oh, hey, what are you boys up to tonight? You missed out, Wadasan. We just had a mixer, and Iwakawa and Miramatsu-san are still reeling from the rejection. Ouch. Sorry to hear that, gents. I guess you guys are one of... <laughs> guys are going to want to come along then. Come along where? To the cabaret club, of course. Going after regular girls will only get your heart ripped out. Mixers are a waste of time. I don't know. Those clubs aren't really my thing. You're such a stick in the mud. They're the best. Where else can you go and have a beautiful woman pour you drinks, light your smoke, and listen to your bullshit? I've been single all my life. It sure gets lonely, but thanks to them and the wonderful ladies who work there, I've made it uh, to where I am today. You're single, Watasan? I forget about that. Just head to the club. Tab's on me. Time to buy some love and affection. Well, when you put it like that, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, you convinced me. See you around, Suzuki-san. I'm just glad to be involved. And leaves us at the club to cheer two lonely men up. This all well as end well.
Somebody wants to fight. Hello? So pissed. Got whooped again. Talk about video games. It's no biggie. So who wants to go on to a, to a mixer together? <laughs> Just be so awkward at that shit. Big mistake. Pile driver. All right, princess, you enjoy your sleep. Weapon skill improved. Weapon skill improved. Well, I am in a new place, and I'm just a taxi driver, so they think it's easy to fight me. You think word would get around, maybe don't fuck with this guy specifically, or bring more men. Have you decided 21st century mom? Have you decided what you'll ask Santa for Christmas yet? Yeah, a smartphone. <laughs> Oh, aren't you a clever little thing, but smartphones are for grown-ups. But I want a smartphone, Mom. If you love me, you'll get one. I sure don't mind if I don't think the thin little elves can make those. Mm -hmm. Guess the holidays are on the horizon. It's already been a year since my last Christmas at Morning Glory. Wish I could do something for the kids this time of year, at least. The guys at the Nagatsu Taxi might have some ideas. Maybe I'll ask Wadasan about it. I'm gonna run back to the fucking taxi place, I guess. I don't know, Shadow. Don't I look like an easy target to beat up? <laughs> you enjoy that late night snack. I'm gonna head back to the taxi place and I'm gonna pee. I drank so much water. Was I to, I'm gonna piss out all the bullshit that I just listened to at that mixer. Oh god. I feel like a mixer to me. I just feel like it's a club thing, but no, it's like, oh, it's just a three on three date, or maybe more. I don't know. Oh, hi, Suzuki san. Something up. I have to step out. Can you man the phone, M Muramatsu? -kun? Yeah, sure. Leave it to me. How's it going, Muramatsu? -kun? I'm afraid things aren't looking too good. Still acting up, huh? You know anything about computers, Suzuki san? Not much, no. Computer's been acting up lately, running all slow all of a sudden. What's this? What happened? Empty windows keep popping up. They won't stop. Wait, I know what this is. One of those cyber terrorism attacks. Cyber terror? What's that? I mean, someone's hacking into our computer? What do you think we should do, Suzuki-san? Cyber hacking? Like hacking up food? I don't understand what this relates to computers. I'm not good with them. Even for a good lot of us. The computer's got a ton of data we need to hold on to. We're counting on you, think of anything. Uh, uh, tap random keys on the keyboard. It can't be that simple. Make it look easy in the movies. This ain't gonna work. Nothing's changed. They pulled the cord out the back. Oh, you mean the land cable? What would we do with it? Pull it out as hard as you can. Then take it off the network. It's a 
a land cable. Hmm. What's this, Suzuki-san? Some girl is moaning through the computer speakers. I guess it was a trap. The attacker must have known we'd, we'd do. They probably set it up to play that money sound when the cord is pulled to stop us from getting to the bottom of this. Whoever came up with this plan knows our every move. We're up against a tough foe. Yeah, we're going moaning in the office, especially now when keeps asking us to put it back in. Oh, we're starting the computer. Nope, didn't do anything. I'll whack it. <sighs> Put the cord back in. Okay, it's not that again. Hmm. Saying something different now. All this stuff about not pulling out and putting it in deeper is going to fry my damn circuits. We're getting work done with all this. That could put a lot of strain on the hard disk. You realize you could lose all the data. You ain't got much of a choice. Tried everything, the voice driving me nuts. Yeah, I should stop him. Let's stop him. I get the feeling that you shouldn't touch that cord. You said there's important information, right? Do you want to risk losing it? Shut the morning off, it's hardly appropriate. That's the problem, we can't. The computer got hit by a cyber terrorism attack. Oh, this is a joke problem. It's not one of those nasty viruses that steals or destroys your data. I'll just install my antivirus software for you. Everyone knows you need antivirus software these days. Haven't you taken any precautions at all? <clears throat> Didn't know I needed to. I can't believe you. Oh, thank God. Moaning stopped. We're all good now, then. I'll take care of the virus, so don't worry about it. But this is the kind of program you often find lurking on adult sites. Prefer if you didn't view those sites on the work PC from now on. I hope you're not suggesting what I think you are. I know that this computer I used, but it wasn't me. You can't assume the worst in people. Oh, don't take me for a fool. I'm not naive to, enough to fall for that line. I'm just glad Suzuki saw was here to help. I was about to pull the power plug. I could have ruined the hard disk. Here's a little something. Yeah, thanks. I don't know what just happened. Hmm? What's wrong? You look glum. I am? That's just how I always look, though. Don't play dumb. I can see it written all over your face. What's on your mind? <clears throat> Let's say you had to live away from the people, far away from the people you care about. What would you do? Yeah. Sorry, I shouldn't have brought this up. Forget I said anything. If you care about them, you should have stayed. They say even when apart, you're still connected in a way. That's the truth, but people aren't always as strong as they make it out to be. Still, there are plenty of ways to stay in touch even when you can't be there in person. I guess you should do what you can now or you might regret it, but that's just what I think. Yeah, you're right, thank you. I'm gonna go cry. Alone. I'm just gonna wear my towel. Remain calm. At all times. I'm also a taxi driver just lugging a gun and a beer bottle around. Oh, 
I got to get to the top CD. Thank you. From the mobile shop. I'll try to buy a few on your phone. Oh my god. It's also doing that thing where it keeps thinking I want fucking... There we go. Mouse and keyboard. I mean, how could I not want these? You know what I hate about this? The fact that I can't buy milk on here. <laughs> What's fun if you can't buy milk on your stuff? I want to order milk. Oh, I just spend my money on CDs. I'm sad. <laughs> Son saw right through me. He's right. There must be something I can do. Christmas is coming up soon. I could at least send the kids enough money to buy the gifts they wanted. I use the ATM to transfer money, or if I send it all at once, the kids might get confused, though. I know. Splitting the money into separate payments might give them the idea what's there. There's... Ashi, Koji, to then the eight total. More confusing. I'm going to do it anyway. Remember, she always loved dogs. She even brought the stray back. She'd be a little selfish, but she takes good care of that dog. The collar she used when walking the dog was a little tattered. I'll send her enough money to buy a new dog collar. Five thousand should cover it. This is an expensive sub story. <laughs> I did it. I picked up... Oh, jeez, I almost threw up. I picked up garbage. I'm just going to here. Oh, thank God. It's not just in my inventory. They're improving with each game. No, I, I'm not the one with the snack. Shadow made the snack. Don't fight me. <laughs> No. Oh, yeah. Yep. Ups a daisy. I did it. I beat up a bunch of schmucks. Uh, I don't want to buy anything. I'm just looking. I have no idea if I bought those or not. And if I got them or where they went, I think they're at my house. Or is it not here yet? I haven't figured out shopping yet on the store. Shiny over here. I feel like I'm crazy. I'll get those CDs, damn it. Have a good Christmas. 
age is Shiro, same age as her. Unlike the rest, he never liked playing outside. He was bullied at school for a while. He's also a big reader. He likes books about space. 5,000. I didn't mean to double hit there. That should keep your imagination filled with excitement and wonder. They're all the same age. Theory. Took having not having parents the hardest. That might be why she tried to hard fit in the other kids at school. So she's a survivor. She was into rabbit themed collectibles. Eight thousand should do it. God, I'm just losing all my money. This means I gotta go do more taxi jobs. <laughs> Here's a little friend to keep you company. You're not. The trendiest kid, she likes fashion, talks about going to Tokyo one day. She always wore a long sleeve to hide the burns that she got as a kid. Wish I was there to be there for her until she comes to terms with it. She had her eyes on a new pair of shoes at the local shopping district. That's the 6,000. Dude, so my bank account's got to be like, what the fuck is he doing? It's Mitsuo, or however you say it. Had a crush on you know. I even helped him pick out some clothes to press her. He's got a big heart, and I bet he'd be good for her. I don't think it's go well for the two of them. Hmm. Only because they're... I don't know that he's been more fashion conscious. It's good to give him some money for clothes. Last time I only spent 2000 but he's grown since then, so he'll need more. So how about 6000 If you need advice on what to pick, maybe I'd better not. And the eldest. Oji. He's soccer and baseball. He treats everyone equally and a great example for everyone in Morning Glory. I was talk about a signature series glove he wanted. But that's 10,000. Jesus. Leaves. Him and Tachi, I'll take care of Tachi first. Still a bit of a rascal, but he does act his age when it comes looking after the younger kids. He loves pro wrestling, wanted to be a wrestler. But now he's talking about working straight out of junior high. Been into mass wrestlers ever since. He wanted a replica, but that cost 10000 Now he he'll tear around the house with that mask on. She's the eldest of the kids. I remember her being pretty quick on her feet. It was all I could do to keep up with her. Although she's quiet, she actually seems pretty athletic. Junior high, she insists on helping out at home instead of joining a club. That's what that said. We would eventually convince her to join the track team. I hear she's a long distance runner and she's quite good at it. Also caring and committed, but I worry she doesn't put herself first often. That's why her running shoes are falling apart. 20,000. Merry Christmas. There. May your new shoes carry you to wherever you go in life. Maybe not now. I don't need to send you anymore. I only sent the money to all the kids, probably just to feel better about myself, but still. Oh, wada well, I didn't see you there. Yep, you said the money again? Yeah, I may be causing more harm than good, though. Who knows? Hard to say. I don't know much about your background. What you know is you're a dedicated man. Can't imagine anyone complaining about that. And I hope you're right. Now that we drink. We're drinking? Oh, yes, this is the one of rare moments in our adult lives where we can take a step back and actually appreciate the responsibilities we have. Can't waste an opportunity like that. Eh, you may have a point there. Okay, lead the way. Oh, there was a shiny. Someone left trash there. I just walked into a pole. I don't know if the shopping, if it takes time. Oh, no, never mind. 
the devil. Oh, we're picking up at a convenience store. Neat. water and so many waters all the reading makes me thirsty I have some stuff please take a look yeah 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 all right thank you this place is getting a lot of business from me here. Now when we do the racing, we'll have new tracks. Some bulky garbage. Look at all this garbage. Dude, I'm committed. Dude, I'm a C at commitment. You know what the C means? It's for room. <laughs> Wait, you didn't pay. Yeah, I, I hit the button and it didn't. And now I gotta run back to see if it's still there. Should be, right? There it is. I hit, I walked by it and I didn't even fucking get it. There we go. Oh my god, you look like a bitch. Oh, it's a host. Close enough. Yeah, it's like cleaning up the area and you get points, and then you can get points for, I guess, spend them on rewards. I haven't seen the rewards yet. Pile driver. Get rewarded for being a good boy. Going for milk and cookies. I don't have any of those, but I do have a baked, uh, some baked ziti waiting for me when I'm done. It's always kind of funny when you notice that I have longer streams when I know I have food afterwards. And sometimes when I don't, the streams are shorter because I'm like, I'm just going to get hungry the longer I stream. Oh, nothing I want. Nice place. I don't know why. It's like, I like the aesthetic to a lot of these places, and I'm like, I wish I had more, like, small store-type places like this where I was, or where I am. Hey, are you all right? Uh, I think I sprained my ankle. Can't move a muscle. Ah, oh, damn, that smarts. You should get that looked at by a doctor. Is there a hospital you can go to? Can't right now. I got customers waiting for their Odin. However you say it. Gotta start work right away. You shouldn't take injuries lightly at your age. Look, I've been running the same damn stall in the same place for 30 goddamn years. I'll be damned if I let this ankle stop me now. Ow. It stopped him. Ah. You okay? No, gosh. Dang it, the rush will be starting soon. Can't sit here. Gotta haul ass. You won't be hauling anything like that. Then maybe I can get you to haul it over for me. Come on, I'll make it worth your while. Just move it over to the South Nagu Gawa Street. 
How are you going to get there? Simple. I'll just take a cab. Now then, treat the old girl gently. Bitter and old I may be, but lose that stall and I might as well lose my life. See? His eyes... Like, I'm not trying to be, like, rude. I'm just like, is he... He's blinking, but his eyes are closed. Think. <laughs> I'm begging you, do an old man a favor. Fine, I'll move your stall. Okay. All I have to do is move the thing to the south Nagasawa Street, right? That shouldn't be too hard. Great, I owe you. Business is gonna get real busy real fast. You gotta hurry. Sure, leave it to me. Okay, thanks. Tight schedule. Oh, his eyes opened. Arrive safely. Am I taxi driving but as this? You gotta be shitting me. All the food. There are no penalties for sudden acceleration or braking, swerving, and turning without a signal. Just get there, but I still have to follow signals. Sorry. Ah. 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 Gotta keep moving. Gotta push it. Push it to the limit. You can't stop this raisin, man. Keep going, keep going. We gotta deliver shadows. Uh, well, I was gonna say milk and cookies, but these are some weird looking milk and cookies. <laughs> his wood in his square. Completed. And all I did was run one red light. Hey, over here. Good work, man. I've got customers waiting. Oh, we made it on time. You did great. I never expected you to show up so quick. You got the stall here in one piece? Hmm. Let's look. Ah, oh, good shape. Guess you treat her like a lady. Oh, well, you did say its value as much as your life or something to that effect, so I didn't want to knock it around. Ah, thanks. You got a good heart for such a young guy. I was floored out of my gourd while there. Now I can give my customers the food they've been craving. Ain't a lot, but here. I mean, 20,000 is 20,000. And I got a pair of Hercules clubs. This helped my driving level. Even when I'm not trying to do taxi missions. I'm doing taxi missions. Right. Not bad. Hey, you know your stuff. This is the ramen stall the chief took me to. Maybe I should stop in. It doesn't look all that busy. Shadow would love a ramen stall. Yes, hey. Welcome. Hello. Mm, don't I know you from somewhere? Oh, God, you're the guy who came in with Nakajima-san. Thanks for coming back. Your name was Suzuki. Right, right. You know your boss is a regular. When he gets tipsy, he always starts talking about you. 
Does he now? Yep, our new hire, a fellow named Suzuki Sod, looks serious as I'll get out. Always wears a frown cut and ditches in his forehead. I heard the story, but he wasn't kidding. You look like you could stare down a bull in mid charge. I don't mean to scare you. <laughs> I'm just yanking your chain. Tell you what, though, he's taking a real shine to you. He's always singing your praises and all. Mighty grateful to have you on board. You really said that? Yep. Oh, you know what? Your order's on me today. Don't be shy about filling your belly, either. I couldn't possibly. Fine, nothing to worry about. He's always done right by us, so it's the least I can do. It's very generous of you. Thank you. So what are you having? Ramen, please. Aye, one ramen. Come up. How firm? How firm? Yeah, our noodles come in six levels of firmness. Very soft, soft, regular, hard, very hard, and dunked. Us kind of locals... We like our noodles on the firm side. Dunked is just dunking the noodles to remove the flour. I recommend very hard for newbies. I'll try very hard, please. Well, tasty. It was. I'm surprised how much those extra firm noodles absorbed the flavor of the broth. Is it a very rich taste? Ain't that a treat to hear? Open the world of Hakata Ramen. Next time, bring the boss of yours, will you? Sure. I really should be paying. I said it's on me. You don't need to get so tight about it. Ain't no buts, just a joy. I'm sure, I'm sure. That's enough about... Yow! Is he okay? Oh. Ouch, damn. What's wrong? That's my back. I went at it too hard with my old lady last night. Maybe throw your, out your back? If so, you need to go to a doctor. Oh, not now. There'll be a bum rush of customers soon. Like a waterfall, but we call it the era of death. Mm -hmm. That's when we pull the most business. Can't afford to leave. This wretched spine. I can barely stand. What am I to do? How about you fill in behind the counter just for now? You want me to do it? Yeah, soup and the toppings are ready to go. All you gotta do is boil noodles and slop them into a bowl. I doubt it's that simple. It is that simple. Now, come on, I'm begging. If I close up shop now, we'll be hurting the cash flow down the road. I said I don't want to disappoint the folks. Oh, I do. Oh, I'm fine. I'm not sure how well I can do it, but I'll try. I'll pay you for your time. Have you ever got room for four? Yep, sit wherever you like. I'll be right with you. Hmm. I'm ready. This is my new part-time job. <laughs> Looking good in an apron. About to start when the time the time when customers order come crashing down like a mighty waterfall and confusion. It's time for that. All you need to do is boil noodles to the firmness that customers request. It's all about firmness. Life is about firmness. Shadow, remember your firmness. A Y A, move noodles one, two, three, four. Once a customer places an order, Kiri must cook the noodles to the request of consistency. They will gradually soften as they cook. Serve the ramen by pressing the indicated button when the consistency gauge matches the order. That's so you won't proceed to the next stage if you botch too many. I didn't do great at this in fucking Ishin when I had to do shit. Up to 100 customers will place orders. Aim for the title of Ramen King. Oh, God. At least it's not memory-based. The one's very soft. One very soft. He wants one soft. Hard. We, need, we got a hard. We got a very hard. We got a very hard. Very hard over there. Very hard. Very hard. Oh boy. We got a regular. Regular. Or a register. Dunk him. Dunk him. 
Dunk him, dunk him. Hard. He wants him hard. Very hard. Very hard. Very hard. So much hearts. Oh, a regular. We got a regular. Ooh, someone wants soft. Working my butt off over here. Oh boy. Very hard. Dunk. Dunk. Regular. Soft. Dunk. Very hard. Regular. Regular. Very hard. Regular. Soft. Very hard. God, look at all these people that are hungry. They're starving here. Oh, 30 people? Shit. Hard. Soft. Hard. Dunk. Dunk. Very hard. Very hard. Hard. Regular. Very hard. Hard. Regular. Soft. Oh my god. Two softs. And a very hard. Regular hard. Another regular hard. Regular. Another very hard now. A dunk. Soft. Very hard. Regular. Regular. Very hard. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I do have my is it over yet? Can I go home? Oh god. Very hard, soft. Oh boy. I fucked that one up already. I fucked that one up too. That one's screwed up too, overcooked. I'm already panicking. It got crazy real fast. Ah, fuck, I hit the wrong button. I'm not ready for the buttons. Soft. Sorry, that one was very hard. I, that was very hard. I didn't mean to hit it. Regulars. A dunk. Very hard. Very hard, regular. Did not mean to hit Y. Very hard, very hard, hard. 
I look at it and then I kind of panic because I can't see the other one. Dunk soft. Soft. Made a lot of mistakes. Oh boy. Okay. You know what? I'll take it. So Shadow, how did I do? <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, at least I'm the ramen king or something. That was fucking awful. I started panicking a lot because I, when I took my eye off it, I was like, uh. Like, uh oh. Yeah, that was something else. It's like watching the God of Noodles at work. Now's your back okay? Oh, oh, hey, wait. Watch you work your magic. I forgot. I feel fine. That's good. We're a huge help. Here's your pay. I'll take 12,000. Happy to have you work the counter. And the chief would. You can now play the Robin minigame. Anytime. I completed 10 sub stories. Look, I'd love to do it again if it was really worth doing, but I don't think I need to. I've done all the sub stories. Um. That, oh no, down below. One down there. I was going to say I can head back to Taxiville, but the thing is, I keep wanting to do the taxi stuff because eventually you don't play as Kiryu after a while until, like, you know, I, I don't think he'll come back until the end of the game when we switch, when we have freedom of switching. I'm like, I might as well just work on the taxi shit. At least do the racing stuff, but I like to do the taxi stuff for a little extra money. Oh, he called me a scumbag. Nice shades, douche. Oof. Still painful. One of them ran. I mean, I'd run too. I watched a man scraping another man's face on the fucking concrete. Yeah, I'd leave. I would not stick around. You that Suzuki guy, the taxi driver, trying to take on the devil killers? You cheeky fuck. <laughs> About time you learned the fear of the killers. It's been a while since you guys decided to attack me. Hey, did you see this? I found a bundle of magazines. Are you interested? Solid magazines. Pretty good read. But way you're tougher. She might, but she might only just watch Animal Crossing and be like, I'm good. I couldn't help myself. I, you know, saying it out loud kind of helps me remember, but I, but because it started to become just at random, like different spots, I kind of started there. losing it. I'll take a Suzuki Udon. It is topped with a fresh egg. Mix the egg in or eat it as it is. Either way, you can't go wrong. I almost read it as like a Tanuki Udon, and I'm like, oh my god, they cooked Tom Nook. Uh, 
Is there any trash over here? There is. Gang member. I feel like you're trying to cosplay as a pop star. <laughs> yeah, at least I don't have to worry. If they cook them, I don't have to worry about my debt. Touchdown. Your turn. I did not mean to activate this, but okay. Oof. Got backhanded. Hello. Oh, hi. You must have not been looking at the last fight. <laughs> I should get out of debt to Tom. I ate him. Who wouldn't? face. Gotta work out those little, like, knots in your back, you know? Doesn't, you know, better way to slam them into a pole. I'm also a massage therapist. Look at this. We're so sorry. Please, don't hurt us. Ash. Look at all this garbage. Oh my god, I'm such a good person. Suck on that, Spider-Man. I'm fucking helping this place. <laughs> I'm a real hero. What the fuck is this Saints Row wannabe car? What's with that car? Oh, what's the spangled meteor doing around here? Autosan, you know about this car? It's the first time you've seen it. There's something special about it lady who drives this sexy piece of machinery is in charge of the Vixen Zeros. They call her the Spangled Meteor. What's the Vixen Zeros? A group of gorgeous women who can outspeed anyone they challenge. Wish they'd drive up on me someday. They're essentially an all-girl street racing team. And that's what I heard, but no one's actually seen their faces. They may not be gorgeous at all. That's about the size of it. I guess you say it's one of those urban legends. The only way to see them is beat them in a race. They're the ones who initiate the challenges. If you lose, they just speed off. But if you win, you catch a glimpse of true beauty. If nobody's ever seen them in person, does that mean they're undefeated? Who knows? All I've heard is rumors. Sure makes a good story. <laughs> so is that just now I might get challenged while I'm out racing? out doing my taxi life. Oh. I do need to visit this guy. Not sure if he's got anything else to teach me. Bill. Well, I never see you. Just felt like stopping by. Get down. I know some when I watched you fight. You used the Komaki techniques here and there. Did you learn from Sotaro? You'd rather not say? There's no point in hiding it, but whatever. He's my grandpa. Learned the style from him. Probably noticed when we fought, we used some of the same moves. I was surprised at first, but I guess there was more of us than you'd think. 
That's why you approach me. There's trash behind you. Or behind me. I won't ask you how you know my grandpa's techniques if you don't want to talk about it, but I hardly ever run into one of his students, especially one looks as tough as you. That's why I couldn't let it go. That's why I need to beat the shit out of you. Sorry, that's just the way it is. I just thought you were good enough to tr for him to train. The way you are now, there's no point in beating you. I'm going to train your rusty ass to your top form and give me the fight I want. I'll beat you down with all I got. I get it, then you feel like you're beating your grandfather too. But if you want to fight him, just do it man to man instead of being so roundabout about it. Man, you don't know what you're talking about. I can beat that old geezer with one hand tied behind my back. And as much as that is as about as much more than that than that. I get the feeling you couldn't care less. But it turns out to be worth my time getting you back into shape, and I'll let you know what I'm after. Fair enough. But if those lowlifes around town still give you the run for your money, you got ways to go. You think one big move after another isn't always the answer? Hey, don't tell me how to fight. Prevent the activation of heat actions by holding down left trigger. Do this when you want to raise the heat gauge or take greater control of how to use your techniques. Alright. Give me one sec. Trash. You had 81 litters right there? Leaders? Why did I say litters? What's wrong with me? What's going on? What is wrong with me? Cool. Yeah, let's train. How many litters do you have? <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, I don't really care. Just fight me. Training, but also make sure you're fully prepared. He's a threat to be reckoned with. Sure. Well, you hit me a little, but if you get carried away, I might get ticked off. This isn't a dojo. It's my way or the highway. I don't know what defense move you wanted me to work on, but I'm just going to keep punching you. I thought the tutorial thing was going to pop up telling me or telling me what you wanted me to do. Ooh, someone got ticked off. I like how he can just turn on a dime. He's mad. I just lay on the ground. Lucky I can't use heat actions. Okay, you passed the test. Knockbacks are really useful for creating opportunities. You learn the knockback. You can't even use it right. Getting old, I'm up the way up while he's on a one way trip down. That makes me better than him. I take the bat. I'm better than him without taking that into account. Personally, I don't think your grandfather's lost much of his edge. It doesn't matter how good you are. If you don't do anything with your skills, what's the point? What are you getting at? We can continue this conversation next time. Fine. Do 
Dude, look at that trash again. If I just leave and come back, will that trash be there? Is that a bullshit way to just keep getting trash? Yeah, no, doesn't look like it. I was gonna say. <laughs> 